Greetings, welcome to Fargo FX. This is Jason. Uh, this will be kind of an interesting video, probably for some of you. Uh, this is not exactly a build, uh, unfortunately, because I lost most of the uh, the video that I had shot building this thing, and I had spent several days working on it. Most of that was lost when I had an accident and actually fell into the water off of this boat. I never did recover my phone, and so I and foolishly I hadn't saved very much. Uh, of the imagery that was on my phone to any other source. So most of it was wiped out and for a while I thought, you know, I, I just won't even do it because I, I, what I really wanted to do was walk people through the build, give you a lot of information on the use of batteries and, and charge controllers and how it all works and solar panels and everything. Uh, but instead I think I'll just uh, uh, give you some shots of it in the background while I talk about it a little bit. And then if this is something that you're interested in, I am planning at some point, maybe not immediately, but at some point, to do kind of a version 2.0. Uh, this boat, which I wound up calling Sketchy Riggers because it never really sat real good in the water because I didn't do a great job on the rigging, uh, the outriggers. Uh, I'm gonna go with something that's a little bit more stable to begin with probably next time. So I don't have to worry as much about balance for obvious reasons <laughs> and not least of all because I almost ruined a motor and I did drop my phone in the water. So uh, anyway, this was last uh, summer, late last summer, and uh, we had some beautiful weather up here in the White Mountains. And I brought my kids out, and everybody had fun. Uh, they have had a little bit of time on the water and kind of gotten to know what they were doing, got comfortable with stuff, made sure everybody was wearing uh, whatever protective clothing they needed. Uh, and we had some fun kind of family outings with this thing. And uh, you'll notice here that I used a uh, charge controller to uh, to run solar energy from a couple of solar panels I got. I believe those are both 100, I think they're both 100 watt solar panels uh, to run that power to a battery and then use that battery to run uh, just an electric trawling motor. I don't remember the cost. I think it was probably around, uh, let's say between 100 and 150 uh, right in there. So not a super cheap motor, but uh, probably on the cheaper end of what you can get and expect any kind of significant performance out of. And what I learned was you know, I think if I had had the motor set on the very lowest setting or near the lowest setting and I had full sunlight, uh, I would say I could probably run for several hours just running that motor indefinitely, which, by the way, is not what it's really designed for. Uh, but, but you could. Uh, you could, I believe, run this boat continuously when the sun is up uh, off of that power, again, at a, at a very low setting. Now, when it comes to uh, if you have to put on a lot of speed, Suddenly, for some reason, maybe a storm is coming up, you need to get off the water. Uh, you maybe you've got a lot of weight in the boat and you really need to move. Uh, yeah, you're gonna suck down power pretty fast. I don't think I could get more than, I don't, I, I wouldn't even guess at this point, you might be able to run for 20 minutes or half an hour at full, full throttle off of that battery and, and then you'd be done, you'd be charging for a while at that point. And there are other considerations too. Uh, generally speaking, you don't want to run these batteries. These deep cell, uh, uh, pardon me, deep cycle batteries are not really designed to be fully discharged and then charged again. Bad things can happen when you do that. So I would recommend taking your time and uh, and learning a little bit about uh, the different types of batteries. There are other batteries that are much more expensive. Uh, but there are other batteries that are available for solar. Uh, I chose to go with the uh, heavier weight, but uh, but but cheaper and been around longer, so they're well proven. Uh, function a lot like a car battery, but they do have some. Uh, let's say there are some internal components that will be different uh, that allow them to be discharged fairly deeply on a regular basis um, into that maybe 50% discharge range, 75%, uh, maybe not 75, 25 to 50% discharge range fairly regularly, and then receive a charge, and and you're not gonna you know ruin anything in the process. Uh, for this project, I believe I got a battery that was specifically designed for marine battery use. Uh, there are other types you can get. Uh, obviously, there are. Uh, you can go on whatever Amazon or wherever you want and, and find all sorts of batteries for all kinds of different applications. I felt that the ones uh, that I was planning to get for my uh, setup at home, which I may feature also someday, um, I felt that those were. Uh, uh, that they were that one would be good enough for what I was going to do in this boat. If I had brought both with, uh, I could have probably been out on the water for a full, you know, ten or twelve hours, depending on weather. So anyway, um, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this, but I thought I'd let you guys know this is a project I was working on. Uh, finished it up last summer. 
had some trouble along the way that meant I wasn't able to share it earlier, but I thought I would share it now, and I would ask that if any of you uh, have any great interest in this, uh, you know, absolutely uh, ask, let me know. If you totally hate the idea, <laughs> by all means, let me know. Uh, feel free to make fun. It's kind of a silly concept, uh, but it was a, um, it's a first version, you know, it's a proof of concept kind of thing. I didn't really make it to be like this permanent, hey, you know, I'm going to have this boat and I'm going to do this thing for 10 years. Much more of a proof of concept. Let's see if this works. And if it does, then maybe we can try it on something larger and kind of beef up the motor, uh, add some solar panels and see what we can do. So uh, that was some of the fun I was having last summer. Thought I would share it with you guys, even though, again, unfortunately, I lost the, uh, the actual build process. Uh, but we'll probably... Uh, if I do a if I do a two, I'll probably take the time and just make sure that I get at each of the steps uh, that I follow each of the steps pretty well. And I've learned a lot about solar, so if that's uh, you know solar power, if that's something that you guys want uh, to hear about, I could take you through some of the setups that I have uh, out here, kind of on the compound. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. So I'll just wait for your feedback, and I appreciate everybody watching the show. Whoever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.